Everyone, today I wanted to go over how to use a tap and die set. It's a skill that a lot of people feel intimidated in using and figuring out what exact tap or die you need using this crazy tool right here. Just want to show you all the steps to do to figure out what tool to use. And I have some great tricks to figure out what size bolt you have. If you're mechanically inclined and you like to fix things yourself, having a tap and die set is really critical. This is a metric tap and die set. These are the taps here, and if I lift this off, underneath is my die sets, which are these circular units right here. You would use a tap and die set to fix damaged threads. Now keep in mind there's a limit to what a tap and die set can do. If you don't have any metal left over, you're not going to be able to re-thread that correctly. So like this lug right here, this is all chewed up right here, and these threads are fine you're not really going to be able to fix that safely, you'd want to replace that. But, you still might be able to fix the hole that this went into that got chewed up. A tap and die set is going to come with a gauge. And on this gauge, there's actually a coarse thread side and a fine thread side. Here's the coarse side, and here is the fine side. Now on this, there's numbers, and the numbers are the thread pitch that you're going to match up to get the pitch that you need for the tap that you need. Quick side note, you know I have a couple of videos about rodents, they got me. I did set some traps, I caught about eight mice in my garage and you could see they made a nest right there. So I'm going to pull that out and make sure that it didn't do any damage, chewed any wiring. I'm parsing out the Z46 anyway so I'm not really worried about it, but that's how it happens. They get This cover sits right on top of the engine, that's hidden and that's a perfect spot them to make a nest. Terrible. So I have two bolts here with different thread pitches. This almost looks like a fine thread, but it actually is a coarse thread. And then this one is an obvious coarse thread. Now I don't have anything on hand that is a fine thread, but you could just figure it out the same way by using this tool. And at first I thought maybe it was a fine thread, so I matched it up to all of my fine thread adapters and it didn't match up. So then I went through this and I found the correct one. Let me show you how to check and find which one is the right thread pitch. All right, don't be intimidated. This is not rocket science. Take the tool, I mean, you can just start at number one and you just try to line them up and you see if it catches. It doesn't catch right. And that one, that one actually catches pretty good. And it is a 1.0, you can see right here. It catches all the threads, so that is the correct thread pitch, 1.0. That doesn't tell me the thickness of the bolt. So if I'm going to be tapping a hole using a tap, I would need to figure out the dimension of the tap that I need. Now the same thing for a die. If I was going to re-thread this, obviously I need the right size. And there's an easy way to figure this out, and let me show you. Now you can use a micrometer, but I'm going to use this as an example. You just take a wrench with the right size on it, this is a 14 millimeter wrench, and you match it up. And if there's no play, you can see right there, there's no movement, this is a 14 millimeter bolt right here. It's as simple as that, but you do, you do need the right wrench. So for that tiny one, I don't have any here at home. I would have to use a set that I have at work. So for this one, I'm going to just have to guess or run it down through the tap to try to figure out which one it is, but that is the easy way. So if I had a 6 millimeter or if I had a micrometer, I could go ahead and measure this the same way, and if it fits into the 6 and has no movement, then I would know that this is a 6 millimeter bolt. So this could be a stud that you need to fix that's fixed in the engine compartment, and you have to fix the threads. So this pitch was 1.0, I'm guessing it's a 6 millimeter. So on these taps, you would need a tap for this. This is actually a 6 millimeter. you might not be able to see it, but it says 6M 1.0. And that's how I know that this is probably the one. So I could just take this and put it in, it seems to fit right, and so that's correct. It has no play, so I was correct with the thread pitch and my guesstimate of six millimeter was correct. Now these, these threads are perfectly fine. Let's mess them up. So there is a right and wrong way. There's a wider opening on this side. This is the side 
where it's going to be finishing off the threads coming out. So this is the one I just smashed. Remember how easy it threaded in before? Let's see what it feels like now. All right, skipping. So let me show you how to fix all these threads. Tap and die set comes with this tool right here. And you would take your die, make sure it's facing the right way with the wide side out. And that's gonna sit right in this tool. And it has a little set screw to lock it in place. Now if you're fixing a bolt, you wanna put it into a vise, or if it was a stud, it would already be installed in the car. So I'm just gonna lock that down. And you wanna use a little bit of lubricant, like a WD-40, and you wanna have the threads lubricated for when you put the tool on. And just square it off. This is not rocket science. And you just clean up the threads and run it all the way down. It's as easy as that. You run this all the way down, nice and easy, so you can go back and forth. And if it's really, really stripped, it might get caught, and you just work your way back and forward. And you're basically re-threading it, putting that metal back where it belongs. This one didn't get too smashed up, so... There we go. Now I'm in an area where I didn't hit it. It spins nice and easy. Look at that. Coming back off. Let's well, not. Yeah, actually, that's really good. And then spray off because there's going to be a little bit of metal particles. Run it down again. Look at that. So we just went ahead and fixed those threads. Not too shabby. So that's how you use a tap to fix a stud or threads of a bolt. Let me show you how to use a tap. So a tap is going to fix a hole. Now this is an open hole here, so any kind of metal filings are going to just fall out. If you had a closed hole, when you were done tapping it, like this would be an enclosed hole here, there's no opening in the back, then you would want to blow out the filings with a, a blow gun, you know, in the same procedure. I'm just going to show you how easy it is to do this when this is stripped out. So the same procedure applies. I need to use the tool and find my pitch. So this happens to be a 1.0 also. So I know that the one I repaired is a 6. If I take it and just kind of line it up with the other one, or if I had a 6 millimeter wrench, I'd be able to verify it, but that's also a 6 millimeter, and that's how you'd figure that out. All right, so I know that I need a six millimeter 1.0 for these threads. These taps have stamps on them, and this says six millimeter 1.0. And you just read it right off and then figure out which one you need. Now there's a couple of different tools that you can use. One is this style. It just goes in and you tighten this down and it will just lock it in place. And I can slide this over and I can use this as my tool to screw it in place, which is nice too because you can slide it. If you're in a tight spot, you can actually move that to hopefully get around certain areas. And then the other tool that you can use is this style tool, which is a larger handle. And yes, you probably use it for one of the larger ones. It will still work here. And this just has like a square edge and you catch it like on the triangle edge, right? And then you would just screw it on. In my opinion, for this repair, this smaller one's going to be the right one to use. So once it's in, you just gently snug it down. You don't have to go too crazy because it locks on all four corners. And the same thing, just try to square off, try to make sure that you're straight. Usually you can get started on a first threader or two. And then make sure you use a little bit of lubricant spray when you're cutting. All right, so it got a little tight there, so I'm going to back it off, and you just work it slow. One, two, one, two. There's little particles in here from when I'm cutting that can actually get caught. Now there's channels for those metal particles to go into, but you don't want to just ram it. So if it ends up being it's a little tight, you just work it slow, and then back and forth, work it slow, and you're basically going to be cutting new threads. And actually, this is fixed already. feels great. 
So I'm going to back this out and I just repaired those threads. It's as simple as that. So that's how you use a tap and die. Like I said, not rocket science. It's actually really easy to use. It's definitely something every mechanic should have. This is the bolt that belongs here. Oh, that's beautiful. Look at that. Went on like nothing. So this is a skill you should have and like I said, it's not very hard. You can show off, you know how to check thread pitch. You can use a wrench to figure out what size the bolt is, and then you're ready to go. So you know that this was a six millimeter with a 1.0 thread pitch. You pick your tap and away you go. That's how easy it is. Coming up with the skills that you just learned, I'm gonna show you how to fix a stripped wheel lug hole. And that's gonna be next week's video. Thanks for watching. Now you know how to use a tap and die set like a pro. It's not that hard. It's something that you should have in your toolbox. I hope you found this video helpful. Please give it a thumbs up. Please subscribe to my Ask the Car Experts YouTube channel for more great videos. Take care.